Did you know that jellyfish have roamed the seas for at least 500 million years? But what exactly are these fascinating creatures? Well, let's delve into the watery world of jellyfish. Contrary to their name, jellyfish are not fish. Instead, they are a type of plankton. While they may look simple, jellyfish are complex beings that have survived millions of years on Earth. At first glance, one might think jellyfish are just blobs of jelly, but they are much more. Jellyfish are invertebrates, which means they don't have any bones. Imagine that, a creature without a single bone in its body. They are made up mostly of water, around 95% to be exact. This is why they can blend in so well with their surroundings, making them nearly invisible in the water. So the next time someone asks you what a jellyfish is, you can tell them it's a boneless, water-filled, drifting creature. Now, let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of jellyfish and explore their anatomy. Imagine a creature that drifts along the ocean currents with a body so delicate it's almost transparent. That's a jellyfish for you. But don't be fooled by their simple appearance. Jellyfish are wonderfully complex creatures and their anatomy is really something to marvel at. Let's start with the most noticeable part of a jellyfish, the bell. This dome-shaped structure is not just for show, it serves a crucial function. Jellyfish use their bell for movement. By rhythmically contracting and relaxing their bell, they push water out, propelling themselves forward. It's like their very own built-in jet propulsion system. Then come the tentacles. Long, slender, and often quite numerous, a jellyfish's tentacles are its primary tool for capturing prey. These tentacles are lined with specialized cells known as cnidocytes. Each cnidocyte contains a tiny stinging thread that can be launched at potential prey, immobilizing it. It's a clever and effective hunting strategy, wouldn't you agree? Now let's move on to the oral arms. Hanging down from the center of the bell, these structures often look like thick, frilly ribbons. The oral arms work in tandem with the tentacles, helping to transport captured prey to the jellyfish's mouth. But here's a fun fact. Jellyfish don't have a traditional brain like us humans. Instead, they have a network of nerve cells known as a nerve net scattered throughout their body. This simple nervous system allows them to respond to changes in their environment, like sensing food or danger. Interestingly, they also lack a heart. They don't need one because their thin, gelatinous bodies allow oxygen to pass directly into their internal organs. So there you have it. The bell for movement, tentacles for capturing prey, oral arms for feeding, a nerve net for sensing the environment, and no need for a heart or brain. A jellyfish truly is a marvel of nature's design. So even without a brain or a heart, a jellyfish sure knows how to get around and find its dinner. Ever wondered how a jellyfish comes to be? Let's explore their life cycle. Our journey begins with the jellyfish in its simplest form, a tiny egg. This egg hatches to give life to a larva, also known as a planula, which is little more than a speck in the vast ocean. The planula, however, has a destiny to fulfill. It swims down to the ocean floor, seeking a solid surface to attach itself to. Once it finds the perfect spot, the planula transforms into a polyp a small stalk-like creature that looks nothing like the jellyfish we're accustomed to. But here's where things get really interesting. The polyp begins to reproduce asexually, producing little clones of itself in a process known as budding. These clones, or ephiri, are the next stage in the life cycle of a jellyfish. The ephiri slowly grow and change, floating freely in the ocean. Over time, they transform into the final stage of the jellyfish life cycle, the medusa, this is the adult stage, the beautiful undulating creature that we recognize as a jellyfish. Incredibly, jellyfish also have the ability to reproduce sexually at the medusa stage, starting the whole cycle again. They release eggs and sperm into the ocean, creating a new generation of planulae ready to embark on their own journeys. From a tiny egg to an adult, the journey of a jellyfish is truly fascinating. Ready for some cool jellyfish trivia? Brace yourself for some fascinating facts about these sea creatures that will surely tickle your curiosity. Did you know that the largest known jellyfish, the lion's mane jellyfish, can reach lengths of over a hundred feet? That's longer than a blue whale, the largest mammal on earth. Imagine running into one of those on a casual swim. Speaking of size, on the other end of the spectrum, we have the Irukandji jellyfish, one of the smallest and most venomous jellyfish in the world. It's only about the size of a fingernail, but its sting can cause severe health issues. Talk about small but mighty. Now let's light things up a bit. Some jellyfish are bioluminescent, meaning they can produce their own light. 
This is not just for show, it helps them attract prey and ward off predators. Imagine a light show under the sea, courtesy of our jelly friends. Here's another fun fact. Jellyfish have been around for more than 600 million years, making them one of the oldest living creatures on Earth. They've survived all five mass extinctions. That's resilience for you. And finally, ever wondered why they're called jellyfish? Well, it's because their bodies are made up of about 95% water, giving them a jelly-like consistency. Wow, aren't jellyfish just full of surprises? Jellyfish are amazing, but it's important to remember to respect these creatures and keep a safe distance when we encounter them. While it's fascinating to watch their graceful movements, touching them can lead to painful stings. If you're swimming in the ocean, look out for signs warning of jellyfish presence. If you spot a jellyfish, don't touch. Some species can even sting when they're washed up on the beach. If you're unfortunate enough to get stung by a jellyfish, don't panic. Rinse the area with seawater, not fresh water, as fresh water can make the sting worse. Avoid scratching it, as this can spread venom. Seek medical help if possible. If not, apply vinegar or a mixture of baking soda and water to neutralize the sting. Jellyfish are an essential part of our oceans and their ecosystem. Let's enjoy their beauty from a safe distance. Well, that concludes our jellyfish adventure. We hope you enjoyed learning about these incredible creatures. Remember, there's always so much more to explore and discover in the world around us. Stay curious and keep exploring.